hey guys welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking to watch this new vlog this is our nesting vlog um yeah 37 weeks today guys and first of all i must say that i am past the point of apologizing for how i look my hair my nails my my clothes like i'm past that this is our bump this is our baby bump i hope i'm standing far enough <laughs> Yeah, baby's doing great. I'm doing great. And, um, you know, at 37 weeks, you're full term. The baby can literally come any day. So <laughs> we decided, like, look, we need to start putting things together ASAP because we have three weeks to the due date. And you never know with these ones. You never know. So um, today, this vlog is going to be a bit long, disclaimer, because it's not just going to be today. I mean, over the next few days, we're going to be, or weeks even, we're going to be arranging different things and all that and um, building furniture. And also, my intention is to just put everything together, put all the clips together and let this be one nesting vlog because I genuinely don't have it in me to start doing oh, part one, part two at this point. I'm over it. I'm over it, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, today is Saturday. My husband is home, we're both home, and um, we kind of started doing a few things. I'll show you what he's doing now. He's building the chest of drawers for the baby's clothes and all her things. But let me show you what I've gotten up to this morning. All right, so um, I don't know if I vlogged this, but I think the last vlog I must have shared was me um, organizing baby's things after we bought them. So... I think two weeks ago, I took off all the tags and washed all these clothes. And um, this is everything now, folded and ready to go in the drawers. And then on this side, we have... So basically, all these clothes here are newborn clothes, right? And then on this side, I have zero to... Ignore everything else. This place is a mess, I know. But yeah, on this side, I have um, zero to three months clothes. I'm still trying to decide whether to put them in the drawers now or to just focus only on newborn things and when these go out of size then i'm going to fold those ones and put in her drawers but yeah so far so good this is what we have and um, this is the room we are working with so this is currently like our laundry room our shoes are here ironing table and then you can see the basket of like um clean clothes folded clothes the cleaner was here during the week so she ironed and folded and we just need to put all those clothes in our own wardrobes. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, we just need to organize our own things out of this room. But um, yeah, this former laundry room is going to be baby's room, right? Um, so uh, yeah, I think the priority is just to put the furniture together. That's um, the bassinet, the cot, and the drawers. The cot and the drawers are staying here. The bassinet is going in our bedroom. So... All our clothes need to go. Our shoe racks need to go. Um, the big bed here is going to stay because we might need it. Yeah, so we're just going to leave the bed here. In our bedroom, you know what? Let me show you what our bedroom currently looks like so that we'll have, kind of like have a before and after to work with. Okay. So this is what our bedroom currently looks like. Ignore my clothes on the on the bed. Um yeah our bed is here and bathroom is this side we have a plain wall on this side so what we're going to do is move the bed the other way because um the room is longer this way than it is this way and as it is there isn't enough space on the sides for the bassinet to go so here's what's gonna happen um you see where the bed is right the bed is going to come against this wall instead so that there's enough space on the sides for the bassinet to go and then i think against the other wall we're just going to put storage or something i don't know and yeah that's pretty much what it's gonna be also guys um i'm currently in our guest room i know that la the la on the last vlog i think i promised you guys uh um baby registry unboxing but i sincerely do not have the strength for that so all the things you're going to see in this nesting vlog or like the majority of them 
are things that were gifted in the baby registry and so you're just gonna have to take that we bought some of the things we were gifted some of the things and they have been in the guest room let me show you what our guest room looks like we've been sleeping here i don't know why we've been sleeping here so the bed is a mess but this is the view from the bed because we have so many things so we made our um baby registry on babies or us and take a lot that's why there's so many of those boxes um yeah so stroller bath stuff the bin the bassinet that's a rocker high chair bunch of things in the other boxes this is the baby's cot and mattress so yeah this is what our guest room has looked like for a bit now with so many boxes in here but um by the end of this vlog all these things should have been put where they belong even baby's bottles are somewhere in here i have to sterilize those put them in the kitchen and all that but yeah um this is what i'm working with the goal is to empty out this room in the next one or two weeks right wish me luck vlogging that's what i'm doing hello baby's daddy say hi hello. we can't see your face we can't excuse me <laughs> So yeah, um, he's doing his own thing. Bro, you brought all the power tools. Man, okay. So this is us building out the, the drawers, right? Yeah, the chest of drawers. Um, yeah. After this, I think we'll do bassinet and then cord. And I don't know if we're doing so much today anyway, but we'll just see what we have strength for and take it as it goes yeah me i'm going to go find something to do with myself I don't know who this man thinks I am, but he has challenged me to build the bassinet by myself. <laughs> so this is it. This is the bounce beside me cut. This was from um, Babies R Us, also from the from the registry. Ah, oh, guys, I'm just tired. I have not even really eaten this morning, but. I also don't know. I don't have strength to cook, but I have strength to do this. Hmm? I'll remember just now. Ah, oh, yeah. So I'm about to take on the challenge and do what I need to do. Yeah. Let's build.
Guys, the way this dresser has stressed us today, like my boo had to drill new holes in it because the this bottom ignore the yam, guys, ignore the yam. <laughs> but this bottom part was faulty. Oh shucks. Oh Jesus. Hmm. What a day. I do okay. Mm. People, look at my husband. Look at what it has come to. My hard worker. <laughs> In your next life, you consider carpentry, would you? No, in your last life, you become a billionaire, and I'll still marry you again. But in this life, you also be a billionaire. So there's that. Guys, this is um. Past 6 p.m. and we're still here because, like I said, this drawer has showed us flames today, but we're doing it anyway. Um, bye. Mm. Hey guys, so it is currently past 9 p.m. It's actually almost 10, it's 9 30 something. And we just fit see these drawers when I say this thing showed us flames. Apparently there was a factory error in there somewhere at the very base of it So that kind of confused us and we're going back and forth about should we return it? Should we redo it? But the perks of being married to a handy guy, right? He was able to Figure it out and I'm so grateful for that and we just finished building See, Let me not say we because it's him and we had a friend over that helped out like at the, t at the tail end so yeah this is the finished work it's my baby's chest of drawers daddy did a fabulous job babe how do i open this thing no 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 please um, i need it to open please well we will put the handles eventually okay so guys these are the handles and they are in this black bronze annoying bronze color this light is not doing it justice but it is an annoying color and i don't quite like it so i want to use a silver spray paint on them tomorrow that's why the handles have not been fixed so yeah tomorrow we're going to buy silver spray paint and spray those and then put the handles on but this thing is large and it looks very nice and sturdy so i'm grateful Daddy, thank you. Oh, not you cleaning up after yourself. That's a good one. Daddy, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm, you. <laughs> How do you feel? Hungry. You're hungry? My husband has only eaten once today, man. And it was a small meal. So he needs to eat. Whew. Me, on the other hand, I just had dinner. Um, I think I showed you guys. I thought to make a banana bread in the middle of all of this. And it was a good idea because it was a nice snack. Um, and I was also able to give that to our guests as well. So yeah, that's that for today. Like I said at the beginning, this is a very this is going to be a very patchy vlog. So I don't know. This next thing can last the next two weeks or whatever. Whatever the case, I'm just going to be putting all the clips in. Um yeah, tomorrow is Sunday. 
Um, maybe my husband might want to build the cut tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, guys. The next day. Hey, beautiful people. It is day two of nesting, and um, I'm not really doing much today, actually. Um, so I just got back home from what was supposed to be lunch with like a few friends from church and turned out to be a surprise baby shower but that's not going to be in this vlog i feel like i will just add that to my initial baby shower vlog but i got home and my husband was building the cot this is what we're working with say hi say hi auntie and uncle hey see this man hiding from the internet <sighs> Auntie and uncle came to help her. This is what we have so far. Guys, so today is Wednesday and let me tell you something. This third trimester, this last few weeks of pregnancy, getting me good. Because this is almost like 6 p.m. I haven't been able to do anything today except eat and sleep. Like naps took me today. I didn't take naps. Naps took me like twice today i just found that i was sleeping and drooling a grown woman look at my hair look at me but yeah that's that's just where we are um anyway this nesting vlog right i know i think i stopped abruptly on sunday when we were doing the cuts and things but i just wanted to give you a few updates um so the draw is done let me show you what that looks like so yeah, this is my baby's drawers. Um, we painted the handle silver. So they came in like this gold, almost bronze color that I didn't really like. And also with the colors I'm going for in the baby's room, I just felt like this silver was better. So we spray painted the handle silver and everything is good now. I just need to give this a good wipe down and we'll transport it into the room once... Um, we also just need to tidy up a few things in the room. We order curtains from Take A Lot. Still waiting on those. Um, yeah. And then I just... Oops. <laughs> this is all of Baby's um, wellness stuff. All of her... Should I say toiletries? I don't know whether toiletries is the right word to use for a baby. But basically all her soap, her diapers, her wipes, her... You know, those basic things, they just came. I got an email this morning that I was going to receive this delivery and I had absolutely no idea what it was. I didn't even remember that I had something on the way until it actually arrived. So yeah, I'm really excited to unbox all of this. Oh my gosh, like, this feels so good. This feels so good. Look at my baby's diapers. I've never been more excited in my life to see diapers, guys. <laughs> oh. This is, okay, size zeros. So this, we just bought a few of. We didn't buy, I think we just bought like four of these or five. Because you don't know how long the baby's going to be in this size for. We can always stock up here in town. You know, and I also just want to make sure that she's her skin and all is okay with this brand. So we didn't buy a lot. Um, is it two? Eh? Is it two packs? There's no way in the world I bought two packs of diapers. There's no way. I think it's in the bottom. Um, this is a carton of Augie's Pure Wipes. I can't lift these things. I'm not even going to try. This is my breast palm mommy's breast pump um in as much as i just want to scan through these things i actually have to check properly and make sure they delivered everything so i have to actually go deep into the box and yeah so i'll just bring everything out and confirm that all my deliveries were made and then i'll show you guys all right guys so this is everything that was in the box and i'm happy that it was a complete delivery Nothing was left out. Unfortunately, though, there was something I wanted to buy and um, I forgot to add to my cart. I was cracking my brain trying to remember the whole time when I was ordering. And the moment I opened this box, I remembered exactly what it was that I didn't buy. 
thanks to pregnancy brain so this is everything that i've bought for baby so far um definitely top ups are going to happen quite soon but this is a very good place to start and just make sure that her skin or her body agrees with all of these things so it's just diapers soap lotion grab water bomb cream um cotton wool cotton buds this is her bath soap for the night time a little bit of baby powder because i hear bomb cream is now the is what moms are now using and not powder but i just wanted to have a small powder um a little bit of baby oil i don't i feel like i'm only going to use this for her hair and then this huge vaseline i sincerely thought i ordered like two small ones or three small ones because with things like baby things i prefer to buy small ones and have them like around the house and not just like a huge one like this so i'll probably like decant this into smaller containers and they were so kind to give a free item this is a it's a moisturizing cream i think it's like a face cream or something nearly everything on it is in french but at least it says total youth enhancing day care so it's fine um i would i would look this up just to be sure it's safe for me to use anyway before i use it but yeah i'm really happy that i got a free gift so yeah this is baby's um things that i need to put up in her drawer alongside her clothes um yeah okay see you in the rest of the vlog hello good people another day of nesting is upon us today is what today's friday um it's a public holiday but we've been home all day we are fixing up our room i think i mentioned in the last uh clip oh, which which day was it that we need to rearrange our room so the bed was there before and now it's here so that the bassinet can stay on either side of the bed hello daddy this music playing in the background i pray i don't get a copyright strike One eternity later. Hey guys, so this is like 10 days or like 12 days actually after the last clip you saw and um, at some point I just decided, you know what, I am tired and this room and this baby prep nesting whatever needs to get done so I'm just going to do what I can and update you guys later. So, um, so far right now, I feel like we are like 98% there which is very good by me I feel like you can never really be 100 100 so it's fine I feel ready I feel good um, I just want to show you everything that we have done so far with the baby's room um, I think the last clip was us putting the dustbin together and moving the furniture into this room right I think so so let me just show you what the room looks like now okay 
All right, so I think we should start here. Obviously, this is the baby's cot. Right now, I know it looks like storage. You just have to forgive me. So I have, I made a caddy. Let me show you that more closely. This is a caddy that I'm going to put in my own bedroom and at least move around the house with. So this is diapers, um, plastic bags for dip, for disposing diapers, a bunch of towels and burp cloths and things, breast pump, breast pads, wipes. So this is basically my portable caddy to move around the house with so that I don't always have to come here um, whenever I need anything. And then this is baby's bed sheet. So when she comes, I'm going to take this plastic off and actually lay the bed. For now, I'm trying to prevent dust and all. So it's just going to stay in the plastic. And then later today, I'm going to be packing baby's hospital bag. This is our diaper bag. And this is what I'm going to be using for baby's hospital bag. Um, so yeah, that is baby's bed. And then moving on, the bin, the bin is in the corner there. And then this is baby's dresser. So for the dresser, um, I think I did mention that we chained the handles to silver because they were initially gold. And on top of it is the, um, yeah, changing mat. And then I just put some, what are these called? Artificial plants and a card over there. And there's a mirror. There's a mirror here because um, when I change baby on the mat, I want to be able to like hold her up and just play in the mirror for a bit, right? And then on the side, there's this bed. Initially, we plan to actually take this bed out of the room and just, you know, give it away or something. But now, considering how we might have guests and all that when the baby's here, it makes absolute sense to keep the bed and it's not even taking too much space so yeah makes perfect sense also i think that the last time i filmed in this room there was no curtain up but now the curtains are up and um they're really lovely curtains i don't know if you can see them but they're this nice gray fabric these were and then they have you know the mesh ones on there we got this off take a lot so now that you have seen all that, let me just show you an overview. So, cot, dresser, and then bed. Yeah. So now let me show you what I did with the inside of the dresser, which was like the hardest part of this. Not like hardest in the sense that it was really difficult. It just, as, as a prego who's constantly running out of breath, you know these things are a lot of work so let me show you real quick okay so the four drawers here um this is the first one this one contains diapers um white basically things i want i know i'm going to be reaching for on a daily basis um baby's grooming stuff shower gel things like that just everyday stuff vaseline things like that that's the first drawer in the second one, I have baby's clothes. These are um, so for now. I just did um, newborn size clothes. Her zero to three months clothes are clean and ready to go, but I didn't put them here yet. So these are just newborn sizes. And then her socks and her little hats, guys. Baby things are the cutest. I know I've said that like so many times, but yeah, her socks and little hats and clothes she needs for the first few weeks then here the third one this one contains um blankies sheets things like that little towels bra cloths just um bigger items that shouldn't go with the clothes to make it easier to reach them and then in the last one i just have extra pieces of stuff so this is like the dumping drawer where everything that's extra just goes into and then in this one we're going to be hanging her clothes she has such pretty dresses and i'm so excited for when she starts wearing them so yeah her hangers are in here and um yeah we're going to just hang clothes in there so guys 
guys this is my hospital bag um this is just like a hand luggage i have packed like most of the things that are going in there i just need to top up with toiletries but because i'm still using my toiletries then um i'm only going to put them in when when i'm kind of like on the way to the hospital all right guys so that is it i think i still need to clean this mirror some more <laughs> But yeah, guys, that is it for this nesting vlog. Let me put my camera down so I can wrap this up. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of this nesting vlog. Um, the few remaining things that need to be done, I'm just going to do them either off camera or I'll be making reels. I only have one device to film with, which is my phone. So I usually have to choose between reels and YouTube videos. So if you want to see the actual process of me getting some of these things done, like the process of setting up everything in these drawers or doing baby's laundry or things like that. Please check out my Instagram. The link is in the description box of this video. Oh, I'm running out of breath already. God. Anyway, um, today I need to wash and sterilize baby's bottles and my breast pump parts. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm also going to film that as a reel. And you're going to find that on my Instagram. So, yeah. I really hope that you enjoyed all the vlogs so far. This is a bittersweet moment for me because after this, I feel like the next thing I'm trying to vlog is labor and delivery, right? I'm not really keen on vlogging anything else that's happening in the home because I'm tired. As of today, I am 39 weeks and four days. So baby's due in literally three days and the way i'm tired i genuinely want her to go on her due date so literally three days from now and i'm just like wow my life is about to change but yeah it's all for good and i have never been more excited about anything so i'm not even mad i'm just really happy i'm just really grateful and i'm very very glad that i've been able to document all of this and share with you guys thank you for following me on this journey and thank you for all the love all the support Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so off I go to go um, wash my baby's bottles, pack my baby's hospital bag, and finish packing my bag. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share with somebody who you think will enjoy this content or my channel as a whole. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you're not going to do it for me, do it for baby. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.